Keep on rolling. The game that we're going to play today is keep them rolling. The aim is to keep the wheels moving. So whenever you come to a junction or a traffic situation, try not to stop. Okay. Now, Joe has kindly allowed himself to be my victim today. Joe's yeah. done around 10 hours. Sorry. <laughs> um, and he's covered T junctions, normal turns, mm. roundabouts. So we've covered the, the main criteria um, of today. Now, the plan... Every junction he comes up to, if he doesn't stop, I have to pay him 10 pence. Every junction he does stop at, he has to pay me 10, 10 pence. pence. Now, unfortunately, it's a bit more biased because also if he stops along the drive, so if there's traffic lights, for instance, or a traffic situation, again, if he does stop, he has to pay 10p. I do not have to pay him 10p if he doesn't know it. My part is only on the junctions. It's a 10 turn route and you'll see it with another uh, learner which has more experience and then you'll see the difference when I do it as well. Um, the time of the day now is four o'clock and we're in an automatic car. The second client that you'll see is in a manual, okay? It doesn't really make a difference about the gear change side of things, although if you are in a manual, take that into account. You need to also think about the gears, um, but it's the slowing down process and looking far enough in advance that we don't have to stop. Okay, happy with the idea? Yep. Let's give it a go. So when you're ready, start the car. Turn right, please. Twenty p, but a little bit of a slap on the wrist there. We'll turn right. right. Yeah, a bit quick. GPS connected. Okay, I'm gonna have to break off the best. Okay, and then drive on. So, ten p this way, back down to ten. Remember, must give way to pedestrians when they're crossing. Yeah. I say must, should, but it was obvious what he was going to be doing there. Also, we are very close to the park cars on the left there again. At the end of the road, turn right. stop so back down to zero
and we'll turn right. Should be beef and park cars. One dollar. Yeah. And obviously that meeting situation brings it back down to minus ten. Okay. MP going your way. <laughs> it's something. Yeah, exactly. So, what do you feel was the reason why we lost out on quite a few of those turns? Why do you feel that we were stopping? It's about speed. Okay. So, you have to look early, mm -hmm. make sure you're checking to see if there's grass. So, if you know that if there's grass there, you know you can see early. So, 
Yep, good. So basically clocking the junction first of all. So seeing if there's, it's an open junction, closed junction, Parking, and adjusting the speed off. to that. Um, what about, say, for instance, the pedestrian? Mm. It was his right of way. Okay. So when did you see that pedestrian? Too late. <laughs> okay, cool. So it wasn't the case that you saw him and thought mm. I can beat him. It was just a case that you didn't really see him until yeah. quite late. Okay. So... Again, it's that looking ahead and just thinking the what ifs. Um, the thing with a lot of modern cars now as well is we do have massive A pillars, so the, the pillars that go by your windscreen. It may be a case that that was obstructing your view, mm. so you need to be able to contort your body a little bit just to see what's going on, mm -hmm. okay? Um, how about the meeting situations? I mean, I'm not too sure about that. Okay, so with the cars that were coming towards you, um, there was a situation where there was two cars, I think it was, that were coming towards. Mm. Now, the brake that you were using, you didn't adjust. It mm. was still the same amount of brake that you had as if you were planning to stop. Yeah. So what would have been more advisable there was to use a firmer brake pressure. Uh -huh. That gives you now more time. That allows those vehicles to now have more time. They mm. now clear the situation, then you can continue to go. Mm -hmm. Those little extra brake pressures are what I call blip brakes. So you can just add a little bit of an extra squeeze, take out an extra five miles an hour's worth, then ease off to prevent the stall if you're in a manual car, but to also keep the car moving. Yep. Okay. Um, so yes, you can see how a new learner driver reacts to situations. A um, little bit fast, and that is a common thing. A lot of new drivers feel the need to keep the car moving means to go fast. And yes, yeah, sometimes there will be situations where by going faster will allow you to be able to carry on going. So for instance, if you're having to go around a parked vehicle and there's a vehicle coming towards you, if you can get around that parked vehicle before the oncoming vehicle, then you've kept it moving. So using the extra gas there would be good. But if they're going to get there before you, that's not an option. So now going the opposite, go firm on the brakes, slow the car down more, and then hopefully we'll keep you moving. And what you'll see next is a client with a bit more experience, followed by me doing exactly the same route. One thing to add as well, you don't have to pay, play for money, okay? It's just a laugh at the end of the game the day, but it just gives you a little bit of a target and it helps improve this planning. Okay, so in this video, we've got Connor. Now, Connor is an experienced learner with me. Um, when I say experienced, I wouldn't say you've had particularly a lot of hours. Mm. Um, you've had probably, what, 20, roughly? 20-odd, yeah. Yeah, so not a lot when you compare the national average of hours is about 69. Um, but Connor's doing really well. Um, he does plan rather well. He does see things in advance. He does like to go a bit quicker. <laughs> um, but... I've explained the game plan, so he knows every time if he comes up to a junction and stops, he's got to pay me, or if he stops in general, whereas if he doesn't stop, I pay him 10p. Okay, so let's see how this one goes. So when you're ready, start the car. And it's going to be exactly the same route as well. Okay. Good and good plan in there. So you can 
seat, was able to keep the car moving, didn't come to a stop and panic. At the end of the road, turning right.
that distance don't allow yourself to get that tight. Exactly. I'm so a rich man. <laughs> that's it. Out of the ten turns, didn't stop for any of them. Yeah. Yeah. You kept it moving the whole time. Yeah. So you can see the difference there with a driver with some extra experience and how they can keep the car moving, how they've got confidence in being able to use the firmer brake, being able to keep the car on crawl, and also being more confident in the power up. And that's what makes all the difference between somebody that's good at planning and somebody that's maybe not so good at planning so 90p your way bruv yeah well done <laughs> thank you <laughs> so next you'll see me do the same route deliberately made this more difficult for myself um it's coming up to three o'clock so there's the school run to deal with so let's see how much more money Connor's going to be making. So... Move out my mum's house now. <laughs> <laughs> so already, pedestrian, car seat, it's all against me already. Look. Oh. That bank 
bank transfers happened. Now, this is the bit that catches a lot of learners out. Mm. What they'll do, as soon as the cars in front start to move, they think, yay, power! Don't fall for that trap, okay? We want to wait for a big gap. I am not trying to get close to this Nissan. I'm keeping my gap. The car behind me is keeping their gap. And you can see I am literally just popsing this clutch. Little baby movements. Very, very small movements. <laughs> trying to keep the car in motion. And again, I'm not falling for the trap. I'm just gonna put a bit of power in. I can see the pedestrians crossing at that zebra. So until they've crossed, I can't do anything. Yeah. moving pedestrian so again I'm giving them that time I'm already looking at that roundabout I can see I've got those cars on my right I can't stop at a pedestrian crossing as well so just gonna ask it away with that he's turning so I'm off Tell me. well done that was a sweat <laughs> Which is 
minuscule compared to the standard. Um, but he's an exceptional case where he's picked it up really, really quickly. Um, that is definitely not common. So, I think I got away with that one. You did. I forgot coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a pound. <laughs> I'll just give you a pound back. <laughs> I hope that video has helped you understand how to plan better and to become a better and safer driver, as well as more economical. Hopefully, this video has also helped you understand how you will progress. So, when you do first start trying this and it doesn't go to plan don't worry you will get better with experience and remember planning is something that takes years of experience so even when you pass your test you will still be learning for those of you that are watching this that are already a qualified driver please to remember as well that that learner that has stalled in front of you or hasn't done something that you would it's because they're learning give them some time please don't beat them because that does not help at all there is nothing that that beep does to make them think oh okay trust me they already know they've stalled trust me they already know they've made the mistake they don't need you to bully them into making any more so please just remain calm and they'll move off a lot quicker one other note that i'd like to leave this video on is something that a senior examiner mentioned to me a couple years ago and what he said was that he could get rid of the entire test sheet and just have the one box for planning and awareness because every single fault that you make is a result of poor planning or poor awareness. So really good valid point there, I think. So I wish you many happy safe miles. And like I said, if you do have any questions, please put a comment in the comment section below. Otherwise like and share like crazy.